Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. I am here to give you some more behind the scenes of indie filmmaking. Now, this is a movie that I made uh, a few years ago with my partner Scott Tepperman called Nightblade. It features uh, uh, Todd Bridges, which you talk about with us from Different Strokes, um, Robert Lazardo, and it's um, it, it was it's a serious, fairly serious horror crime thriller shot in like a '80s '90s type style. And I thought I would give you a peek behind the scenes at the making of this movie. Living room, scene one, take one. Mark. Okay, stand. This way. Sweep it, sweep it. And then pop. How do you like you son of a bitch? And then I'm going to go. You're coming down? Uh -huh. I'm like holding on in here your voice. Yeah, it's the same. Watch you. Yeah. Yeah. Would you already be on the side? Okay. Get your blue lines going on. So, so basically, so sitting. Yeah, you should be standing there. Uh, uh, and then I'll spin. Wow, go back. Yeah. Yeah. Come together. Yeah. Like you son of a bitch. So I fall forward, try to grab it. Maybe, maybe this will help me anchor me so I can anchor myself for the head. So I boom, go back. Oh, and I come back, try to grab you. As I'm grabbing, that's when the yeah, shot's going. So work. one shot, boom. Oh, oh, and I. Says it. Get your hand up like a tin top right away. Like, then it cuts back to him. And he's like, "That's right, make it rain, make it rain." So instead of setting that up, getting him and setting that up again, he'll say all this. Maybe wait a little bit and then say, "Make it rain, make it rain." So it gives you a cutting point. You know what I'm saying? We are trying to frame out a scene here, plan it out, and make sure that we can do it with uh, as minimal shots as possible. So we're, we're telling Scotty to do certain pauses. Todd to give it a run for that. It's be a really funny insert for one of the dancers. So, but we're stuff. gonna make it rain, but not make it oh, hail. Oh, Nightblade is making it rain. Most bastards is making it rain, like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. This is not in your script. Uh, that's why I'm <laughs> like looking this at. This is in my script. It well, should I'm... be Kalani. Really? Yeah. No. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm writing in the bathroom. So. I was sent a final cut like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And then I was getting all these. So. I learned very quickly in Hollywood that the final cut is the one you get when you walk on set each day. Yeah. Final cut? What is this final cut we speak of? Uh, you There's know, really no such thing. It's uh. It doesn't happen much in indie films, but you know, it, because it's funny. They say that indie films are like really unorganized and everything, yet you never know until the end of one day on a Hollywood production if your script is shit. You, you usually start the day by walking on set and they go, here's your new pages, you're on in 15 minutes. So. <laughs> yeah, fun, 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 right? So yeah, the final cut, uh, usually in an indie film, your final script is your final script. But uh, now we had to chase it. You gotta chase it. So, what's about to happen is Betsy is coming into a room and finally realizes that her and Andy are in danger. Ooh. There he is. And it looks danger, like danger. We bees are making moving pictures. <laughs> Make them their moving pictures. Yeah, it's a talkie. All right, now since we're getting ready to shoot your death scene, I have to ask this your first time dying on camera. Yes. Excited? Nervous? All the above? I'm What's super it? happy. It's <laughs> always been a dream. <laughs> Hey, well, I'm Michael Kosky. Um, I some people may know me from The Walking Dead and a ton of other like cool movies and TV shows. But I ended up luckily being a part of this through meeting Jim and Scott 
at a bunch of conventions and stuff. We hung out, we clicked right away. We both, all have, three of us have the same sick sense of humor. So. <laughs> that helps with this group. Yeah, yeah, so we get along great. So I, yeah, I just had a nice little scene where Jim got to shove me around a little bit. And your bad habit is what? So I have a really bad habit of always know when the camera's pointing at me and I'll stare straight at the lens. Hi, I'm Bill Schweikert. I'm the DP. Uh, this is my 24th feature film, I believe. Met Jim on the set uh, with a, on a Donald Farmer film years ago. And uh, we've been trying to work together ever since. I had a good time on Hospital 2, shooting in South Alabama. And uh, this one we're shooting on a, a set of hacked GH1s using the Vedra Cinema Primes. Looking forward to it. And I'm playing White Lightning, the strip club DJ. Um, I am the one that introduces all the girls and a little comic relief. So you, you have a good job. I have the best job in the place. You know, I get to work with the girls all day and this is fun. My name is David Polk. I'm playing Bob in Nightblade. I play a person that's kind of thinking all this is demeaning, uh, but my other friend it doesn't think so. Uh, I've known Jim for many years. I've uh, done, I think this is the tenth project I've worked on him with. Uh, Scott I met back when we did the first hospital movie and um, they're both great guys and um, we've started, I think Jim and I started out doing The Deepening back in 2006. It's ten years now, it's hard to believe. At the core, Nikki and Jade still love yeah. each other and want to yeah. get back together. Um, Nikki's kind of way of coping with it is just f***ing everybody else and hoping it'll get over it. And Jade is, is well, I just took this, you know, Robert, whatever, you know, getting by, getting by, but I'm trying to work my way into yeah, something else to try and, and get over it. Um, but uh, Scott's character is more of sort of leading both of our characters along this this path. I mean, when he knows that he can play you and he can play me, he's in control. But the minute, if you notice in the script, the minute he finds out we were back together, he loses, he loses his shit. From there, it goes downhill <laughs> because now he's not in control anymore. So I think that's sort of the triangle. I mean, every everybody's broken in the triangle, and everybody's using each other for different things, different reasons. We're very happy people. How the hell did we write this crap? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. All right, one more time. Yes. All right. We saw Vanessa. And how is she? No, she's not coming back. Well, she's scared. She's happy and she's alive, but she's scared. Yeah, I, I don't blame her. What? Who would do this? Do you guys? Do you know if she has well, any enemies? That's what we're gonna ask you. Me? Why? Why would you ask me? Because you're friends with her. Well, I'm friends, but like work friends. We don't hang out. Yeah, well, add Monica to that list. She just she just called out for tonight. Oh, great. Monica? What'd she say? What'd she say? Oh, my mom's sick. She's in the hospital. I have a headache. I can't get here. <laughs> tell you, she was all over the place. It's the Nightblade mascot right now. Super adorable. Here she is. Super adorable. Oh, I wanted a little mini Sherman. Mini Sherman. Hi. Oh Lord, what's not the best? Thing? <laughs> doing make doing makeup and hair on the wonderful Betsy. Betsy, I mean, yeah, that's gotta be the best. Thing. It is yeah. actually. I've been looking forward to seeing her again because I've missed her face. And her bubbly personality, because she's got a really bubbly one. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Look, I sound like I'm being a <laughs> bitch in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, I sound like I'm being like super <laughs> fing <laughs> and I'm not. I don't think you sound with it. That's I, confident. I, this is the other C word. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and Miss Rue, if I may ask you a question, what we have sure. you? You, this is the uh, let's say second yeah. film you've done for Correct. Jim. And what uh, made, made you uh, want to come back for a friend to do another one Just after? Just because they're a fun group of people. Despite yeah. all the torture they've uh, yeah. put you through despite before. Despite all the. Yeah. Because of Constance, right? Yeah, pretty much. 
Uh, no, because they're super fun and I just had twin babies. So I was like, you know what, this would be a perfect way to just like get away and like no stress, no pressure, just like a super fun shoot. Instead of Cindy's Kitchen, this should be Kill a Bitch Part 2. Los Bastards. All right, well, here we are, uh, day three of production on uh, Night Blade shooting, and we have Mr. Robert Lazardo, and uh, we just uh, shot your climatic fight scene with Mr. Jim O'Rear. How do you feel uh, feel now that the fight scene is kind of has finished and you've winded down a little bit? Well, I feel relieved. I limped my way back to my little dressing room here. Just kidding, Jim. Actually, um, it was <laughs> it was one of the rare instances in my experience that uh, we went through, uh, knock on wood, a fight mm -hmm. choreography without uh, episode or injury. So uh, thank you, Jim, for being such a gentleman, professional, and being so skilled to make it seem practically uh, just, I don't know, uh, I don't know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just like dancing. It made it feel like we were, yeah, we didn't really fight. <laughs> we were just dancing. They should just play. That's right. We were dancing. We, we could have put on the pretty music, it made it feel the happy. ballet shoes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I guess while well, thank I, you very much. I'm gonna take this call real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, to answer your question, I mean it, it felt effortless. And I think it's because um, when you remove some of the aggression and insecurity that can be present when you do stuff like this with some of the younger men or men in general that don't know how to balance their testosterone levels, <laughs> um, it can get confusing and people forget that it's pretend and they think it's really a fight. And the difficulty with that is that one people get hurt, two it doesn't always read well on camera. So when you throw a punch and it hits somebody for real, like, wow, that was unbelievable. It looks like crap, cinematically. And then if you throw something that feels false and you don't think it's effective, the cinematographer's like, wow, that was incredible. You're like, what? So it's, it's perception and tricks. You know? I think it's important to remember that when you do something like that. So to answer your question, it's been one of the better experiences I've had because no one got hurt. It looked real and everybody's happy. You know, I told you to wash your mouth off. I can always take you downtown, you know, and find some stuff that we missed. You know, because, you know, us police doing some pretty shoddy police work. Detective, he doesn't mean anything. He's just a little, he's just a little emotional. A little... Here we are. It's day five of shooting night late for Lost Bastards Productions. Here we have the man, the legend, Todd Bridges. And uh, can you tell us a little bit? about your uh, character in Nightblade. My character is I'm a police officer who's trying to solve the crimes of all the slasher who's hurting people and also killed a person. I'm trying to stop him from doing it, so I'm trying my best to catch him. I did everything I can. I got a lot of help, a lot of resources. Our department is pretty big, and uh, eventually we're gonna, we're gonna get the guy. We're gonna, see some we're gonna catch him. And uh, how would you describe uh, your experiences so far working for uh, Jim O'Rear and Scott Tupperman? It's been a lot of fun working with these guys. They're a lot of fun. They're, they're like on the go, and they like to change the go, which I like very much so too. And they realize that something is too wordy, that we should take it out to make it shorter, to make it work. And they're great to work with, and they're fun to work with. I mean, that. They're good to work with. Who'd have done it? I don't know, huh? That's a, uh, you, you make some pretty good friends around town, really. Uh, I'm a f you. Oh, oh you f me? Well, you're well, check this out. 
But this is good. The gap, the gap is good, right? But so the gap, yeah. And it's pulling. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then, okay. And then pulling. Yeah. Fighting a little bit. You got it. When your bouncer comes up, it's a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's done. He's done. He's done. All right, guys. Let's give it up for the next girl on stage, Trixie. Trixie is also a carpenter. She knows how to work your wood. Tell us, what's the toughest thing about running the Pleasure Dome? Toughest thing about now, Bill, the before we left, we stepped over. Um, still doing that? Besides my, my right. friend. Well, I didn't say the hardest thing. I said the toughest thing. Oh, 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 the toughest thing. Um, yeah. Nothing really. <laughs> it's great. Everyone needs to do it. And here, there are no cesarean scars. Exactly. There are no cesarean scars in our club. If you want those, uh, well, we won't promote them and tell them where they need to go, right? So, because, you right. know, well, fuck If them. you like cesarean scars, then go to Club Sugar Bush. And remember, you saw it here at the Pleasure Dome. Post death scene, how do we feel? I feel alive. We want to show, uh, since there's no room to shoot inside the shower, we are I putting the shower the curtain on the inside as if that were the shower curtain here. Right. And we're going to shoot that as if she, we're in the shower looking at her showering. Then we're going to flip it and put the shower curtain here, put a light over there with a silhouette, and then there's going to be a knife and cutting, and then bad things are going to happen. Well, it is a Lost Bastards production, it so really, bad, bad really things is. are bound to happen. <laughs> exactly. So that's what we're doing. Hi there! And the entrance of Los Bastards. Yes, yes, the Los Bastards are here at the, um, We're fake, the, the, the fake, fake the strip pleasure club. Dome. You see? The pleasure dorm. In, in, in movies, uh, we don't always use the same buildings for the same thing, so the outside of the pleasure dome is not actually the strip club. It's a different location, so. But with the magic of Hollywood signage, signage it's now and, the pleasure dome. And Duct tape. And duct tape. And take a yeah. gander at that signage if you have not, because it's f***ing <laughs> awesome. Yes. <laughs> Is it Monday morning? Monday, All the days running to each other right now. Yeah. So it's yeah. Monday morning, day three. Yeah, Any thoughts right now? It's fantastic. Starting uh, day five, night blade shoot. Day five, they all run together. Yeah, at day five. <laughs> Is that bright? <laughs> it's bright. I don't know. I'm blind. I'm blind. But uh, so, what's our feelings going into day five? Um, we're even more tired than day four, <laughs> and even more sore. That's the feeling. Uh, it also feels like each day is equated to a week. <laughs> yes. We look. We look at photos every day. And we're like, that was today. <laughs> that was last week. <laughs> that was last month. Seriously. Not yesterday. But, but no, it, it's, it's been great. Everyone has good. been spot on. The camera guys look. Oh, hey, Bill. No, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bill and, and Elijah over there are doing been awesome. just horrible work. I mean. Doing great work. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, makeup, effects, the actors, I mean, Betsy, Todd, yeah. Robert, all of them fantastic. I'm we've just sad right. that we've, we've already had to send. Every day too. What's that? We've been on schedule every day, too. Yeah, <laughs> damn it, Jim. I was going to say that. say that out loud. That's a bill thing. Don't say wait, it's going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what, what uh, scene are we going into? What are we shooting first today? Uh, We're shooting a little. Uh, it's 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 a tender tender love scene. Tender tender love scene. Uh, Somehow I I, I doubt that. Uh, that knowing we, that we are not. <laughs> we're not. We're, oh, we're we're overseeing it, but both of us are not involved in that particular yeah. act. One of one of us is involved, but not together. Yeah. We're not involved, and we and, could be. But we're writing. We, we could, but, oh. um, but I can't we'll, quit uh, you. <laughs> I can't quit. We're, do we're doing a tender little love scene, which is uh, which is suddenly interrupted by that bastard Todd Bridges. Big scene coming up. This is the beast of the movie. Right? This is the scene. The scene. I gotta have everything like, else from here is. It's pretty much. This is here. the pinnacle the, moment. The tension drops a little bit. Yes, there are 
five, a five or six hour schedule just for this one to shoot this one scene. Firing up the drone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting ready to do to pull up to the gangsters restaurant here and we have a drone up there uh, that's going to do a, a flyby over us as we pull in and hopefully it'll look really cool. Okay, here we have Mr. Scarpelli aka Pete Kramer, Pete Wolfie Crud Kramer. And uh, how did you uh, come to be a part of the Nightblade project? I saw the audition call on Facebook and jumped right on it. Have you pre previously worked with uh, either Jim or Scott before? I have not, but uh, a funny story, back around 2001, 2002, I was part of a screenwriting association and we had a contest and Jim's, uh, Jim's script won. It was a zombie civil war script that he, that he wrote and ah. it won and I was one of the judges for that, so it's kind of circle back yeah, around what yeah. 15 years later something like that um, all right daniel so what is what are your job going to be well, or jobs i should say and uh learning uh, audio uh, well. have you done it before have you done uh, for smaller projects so hoping a little experience will help uh but this is exciting and i'm also like the grunt so if anyone needs anything heavy carried and what's your actually official job title lisa um, i was i played the part of the newscaster and my other duties as assigned is production assistant. Uh, was with both he and Scott in Truth or Dare 5 as Mayhem Melody. That's not out yet. No, I, looking forward to it, I might say. Big fan of that series. Yeah, I play, um, what am I? A roller derby girl <laughs> that is interviewed on the street. So that's really fun. All right, we're rolling. It's here we are, day eight, the last last and final day final so, day so we got jason, we got jason schneider and Sean McMahon. otherwise known as what was it uh, what was your name steinman yes yeah, steinman. So yeah, yeah i can't remember steinman steinman or steinman <laughs> the motherfucker that ate all the <laughs> jelly donuts the granola cop the granola cop and what was your yeah, line in the movie pretty much yes. it wasn't a line okay, it ready? was you ready right hold on i'm going to get prepared somebody said that somebody came up there it is. There we go. Boom. My name's Justin East. I'm uh, an actor and a filmmaker and done a couple Comic Cons with Jim before and uh, playing the gangster. I get to rough him up a bit. Uh, my name is Quorum Sanford. I'm playing one of the gangsters at uh, Bill, I got Jim character's question. ass here. I'm right here. Um, I've been acting for about five Where years, and uh, I came in through contact. I well, actually I'm, kept I'm up with like, uh, his previous movie. We are uh, unloading the truck at uh, our exterior location, which is our fake strip club. This is a. Uh, this is, the outside of this building is actually not the strip club. Um, this is going to pose as a strip club. Shh. That's, that's secret Hollywood magic. And we are about to hang the sign. Which will turn it into the... Yeah, which will suddenly magically turn it into the pleasure dome. There we go. We will follow you, Jim, on this magical journey. Okay. What are you there? What's going on here, Jim? Is, is this the, uh, the construction? Yes, this is a, a, a very technical, uh, technical process used in films, uh, particularly indie films. Uh, it's called the um, Ducat Tapai uh, method. Du Ducat Tapai is called um, to, I believe, foreigners that's known as duct tape. And um, is that that silvery su substance you speak of? It, it is. It's magical. Wow. Um, I think aliens invented it because um, apparently it works on everything. That's fantastic. So uh, here we go. This is where the magic happens when suddenly the exterior of any old building becomes a strip club. Just by doing this. Whoa, dude. Look at that. Look at how that magic happens. Production value. Yeah, we put that right there. Suddenly, this is the door to the Pleasure Dome. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> what, what's going on, Sean? What happened? Jason's tossing the Uber driver out. No oh, he bounced his head off the... What happened, Jason? See ya. What happened? <laughs> I don't know, he's pokemon for God's sakes. Are you serious? Yeah. It's Pokemon. Well, it's because it's the, the gym. Uber, the Uberman is This is a gym. I said, dude, we're filming a movie here. Sorry, I said, I'll drag your ass out of the car, man. Wow. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> It's not badass, it's those bastards badass. In case you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, this is see that? Actually, you can't see that. That's not the point. It's <laughs> darkness. It's nefarious. It's mysterious. It's compelling. It's a lot of things going on. Mother, shut up. <laughs> this is Todd trying to catch Pokemon. I'm trying to catch him. I just caught him. <laughs> what would you get there? I think it's. Oh my god, you did something. You did catch something. I'll tell you what it is. You f jumped out. <laughs> Shoot. You got you gotta catch them all. <laughs> well, see, I, got, I got it back. I know how to catch them on one's road. See if I can get them. See if I can get them. See if I can get them. I get them. Yes! <laughs> got you! <laughs> The first time opening the, the car trunk, and uh, yeah, there's, there's what we have. <laughs> a young, a young boy naked, naked young down, boy, missing his arms yeah, and some bloody legs. <laughs> we, we got him a little bit. We, we f him up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> What's going on up there, Daniel? Not a lot, just uh, hanging out. <laughs> All right, <laughs> nice to hear it. <laughs> this is a uh, casting, uh, casting crew of uh, the film in downtown Nashville. How about that? <laughs> because why are we going here? Because we finished up four hours early today. We have one scene left that we're going to film tomorrow and finish wrapping this film by about noon tomorrow, which is also early. That's Those are bastards. <laughs> Uh, what do you think?
think, Scott? It's pretty cool. Yeah. What's with the country music? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad! 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 This is the first official Los Pastors production of Nightblade, and it is officially a picture wrap! Many, many more are planned, and uh, with this guy, and with me, my voice is dying. But we thank every one of you guys. You guys are like family, and let's try to do a John Carpenter thing and just take all of us to the next one. Keep it going. Yeah. So you guys rock. Thank you very much. Here we are, final location, final shot. Everything is in the can. We're done. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Yeah, Nash had to sleep. Yeah, it's time coming. We've been working together for like four years, and it's about time we really finally officially partnered up. It was our first one, and we think everyone's going to love it, and uh, it's, up, it's all uphill from here. Fantastic. It was a great experience. Yes, so it was. Drama-free and, and trouble-free. But that's what you do when you organize your teamwork. So. You're getting photo bombed. I'm not surprised. Right. I'm surprised everyone's not standing Who's the bitch doing it? All of all. <laughs> I was gonna say it, 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 was, it was all of them actually. <laughs> giggity, giggity. There you go. That is a look behind the scenes of Nightblade. The movie is out there on various streaming platforms and things like that. Check it out. It's it's a fun little film. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.